Hello students. So on your request, a lecture on Victor Mayer's test. Let me just give you the introduction of this particular test and that is Victor Mayer's test is used to distinguish between primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. So just give the heading. I'm writing, give the heading. It is a test which distinguishes it distinguishes between primary primary secondary tertiary alcohol So Victor Mayer's test, Victor Mayer's test is a test which is used to distinguish between the primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. Okay. Now I just give you the reactions, how it distinguishes. See, primary alcohol is like this, RCH2OH, where the carbon is attached to only one alkyl group. So it is primary. Then we have got like this secondary alcohol where the carbon carrying OH I mean the alpha carbon carbon carrying OH is the alpha carbon is connected to two alkyl groups and we know a carbon which is directly attached to two other carbon is a secondary carbon okay now this this is a tertiary alcohol because the carbon carrying OH that is the alpha carbon is connected to three alkyl groups okay now see how Victor Mayer's reagent works. Victor Mayer reagent. Victor Mayer Mayer's reagent has many chemicals in it. So we start. The very first step, the reaction is with HI. The reaction is with HI. The reaction with is with HI, hydroiodic acid. So, 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 so. So we get primary alkyl iodide, we get a secondary alkyl iodide and we get a tertiary alkyl iodide. I think it's clear till here. Hmm? Now the next thing we react it with AgNO2, silver nitride, we react it with silver nitride, this is one of the reaction of halogen derivatives of alkanes where we have learned if we take an alkyl iodide and treat it with silver nitride we will be getting, we will be getting nitroalkanes. So, Whoa. Whoa! God! So we have primary nitroalkane, we get a secondary nitroalkane, and obviously a tertiary nitroalkane. So I think it's clear till here, isn't it? So primary, secondary, and tertiary nitroalkanes are obtained. Now, we have to treat it with HO and no, ho, no, ho, no, oh, no, ni, ho, no. What is HO and no known as? Anyone? Yes, nitrous acid. Now, I'm just writing this alpha H separately. You know this carbon is the alpha carbon, alpha carbon, alpha carbon. Now this reacts with alpha hydrogen like this, like this, like or oh, no like, zero like. So no reaction, no reaction. Okay, now 
Here we get RCH NO2 NO. This is alpha carbon, so this is alpha nitroso. This is a nitroso group. This is a nitroso group. This is alpha nitroso, and the remaining is nitroalkane. So this is alpha nitroso nitroalkane. Here we get, okay, here we get RCH R dash ye gaya in a NO2. So this is the this is the alpha alpha carbon. So we get alpha nitro nitroso nitroalkane. Looks similar. Or ye to tumi dekhi rai no reaction. Now ye substance bada hi. You know if you have is the I if you remember I asked you to complete the entire isomerism and post it to me. Whatever we learnt in 11th standard and one of the isomerism which we learnt in 11th standard was, I'll not tell the name, I'll, 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 I'll apply it. I'm applying it. Let me see who can say the name. Now this alpha H, this can, now <coughs> the alpha H can migrate and we get double bond. What is the name of the isomerism? Think it is tautomerism. Now, here you don't find any more alpha H, so no such tautomerism. In the last step, we treated with. NaOH. Now you know NaOH is a base and this is the acid OH oxo acid. Acids in which hydrogen is attached to the oxygen are the oxo acids. This is acidic behavior. This basicity. Its basicity is 1. It is a monobasic acid. It is nitrolic acid. It is Nitrolic acid, that's the name. Now base uske saath react karega aur aapko salt dega aur salt banne ki wajay se idhar aapko blood red color dekhega. Now here, this alpha nitrous and nitroalkane is not having any alpha H, so obviously it will not react further with nitrous acid. So when I add the nitrous acid, so, jaisa hai, waisa hai, jaisa hai, waisa hai, kuch nahi hua. Ab isme humne dala NaOH. So, we get the blue coloration. Because acidic medium nahi hai, to we do, we do not get the salt. But we get the blue coloration, which is actually the coloration of the molecule with NaOH. Either to kuch hai nahi. So even if I put NaOH, it is colorless. Hence we can say, primary alcohol with Victor Mayer's reagent gives blood red coloration. While a secondary alcohol with Victor Mayer's reagent gives a blue coloration and a tertiary alcohol colorless with Victor Mayer's reagent. Now when a question comes, what is Victor Mayer's reagent? So don't write Victor Mayer's reagent, that's chai, or ye, or ye. No, Victor Mayer's reagent is a combination of hydroidic acid, silver nitrite, nitrous acid, and NaOH. So Victor Mayer's reagent is a reagent which contains the chemicals HI, HNO2, HNO2, NaOH. Right? So I hope the lecture is clear to you. Okay. Bye bye. Love and blessings to all of you.